syrup sandwiches and crime allowances But this a nigga with some counterfeits But now I'm counting this Parmesan with my accountant Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net This will be in the description below and then once you're on getpaint.net uh, Go to get uh, get it now and then paint.net and then go to download And then free download free download it now Like that I already have paint.net so I don't need to install it and then there's also going to be a link to a bunch of paint.net plugins that you need to install that are for paint.net so in the description below, there's going to be a video video on how to install Paint.net plugins. So I suggest that you watch that. And then once you've installed Paint.net and all the plugins, you can just open up Paint.net like I just did. And then go to File, New, and then make the width 1000, and then make the height 1000. So it should be 1000 by 1000, and then click OK. Uh, you should see this white box. You just want to get rid of it. So go to your magic wand tool, and then hold Shift, and then left click and then press control X. And then after that, go to this open tool right here and then look for a wallpaper you wanna use. Um, I have a, a folder full of uh, paint on it, no, Fortnite wallpapers. So then this will be in the description below. So uh, I'm just gonna use the morning hedge like that and then press control C once you've opened up your wallpaper and then go back to this checkerboard and then just press control V. And then uh, select keep canvas size and then just zoom out by holding control and then using your scroll wheel so i'm just going to zoom out and then i'm just going to resize it so hold shift and then left click on the corners and drag like that uh to do something like this and then just deselect it and then after that add a new layer and then uh, i'm just going to add this uh, fortnite character in so then i'm going to go to uh this folder which also has a bunch of Fortnite characters so I'm gonna choose this one it's the one I used in my example and then just press ctrl C again go back to the profile picture and then just press ctrl V and then I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger like that and then I'm just gonna position it like right here rotate it a bit uh, not big enough I'm gonna do this Still not big enough. Alright, I think this is fine. Deselect it. And then go to effects, photo, and then glow. And then, um, these are my settings. Leave everything at default, but then change brightness to like negative 83. But you can also play around with it. So I'm probably gonna go with like negative 80. That, press OK. And then go to effects, object, and then, uh, drop shadow. And then, uh, make sure the blur radius is at zero and then make the uh, shadow color black, like that. Uh, just leave the widening radius at five and then press okay. And then go to effects, object, and then drop shadow again. And then this time make the shadow color white, like that. And then press okay. And then you wanna add a new layer. Uh, this will be our text. So then just uh, go to the text tool right here and then left click anywhere. And then uh, I'm going to use the font code bold. And then I'm just going to type in my name, Timmy, like that. Uh, my font size is 216, so uh, yeah. And then go to effects, object align, and then center both. And then go to your magic wand tool, hold shift, and then left click. And then go to this color palette right here. And then make sure your primary color is white. And then make sure your secondary color is gray. Just select this gray right here. So make sure white is the primary and then gray is the secondary. Go to your gradient tool like that and then left click and drag from the top to the bottom. So it makes this cool effect for the text. That looks good. So, I, so then I'm just going to deselect it and then go to effects, uh, photo, and then glow. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave it at like 6, negative 80, and 10 like that. Press OK. And then go to effects object and then drop shadow uh, make the shadow color black uh, I'm gonna put everything back at default and then I'm gonna bring up the blur radius a bit like that and then bring up the widening radius too uh, press ok and then after that you want to add in uh, an effect or no no go to your paint bucket tool and then go back to the background and add a new layer so that it's between the character and the background and then uh, choose the color you want for your profile picture. I'm going to go with 
orange because like it's what the character is wearing he's wearing like an orange jacket so then uh go to your paint bucket tool select a color make sure it's the primary color and then just left click like that and then the background should be orange i uh, just go to layers and then properties right here change the blending mode to like overlay or maybe color dodge or multiply i'm gonna go with overlay uh press ok and then after that you want to add in this texture so um the texture should be right here so then uh this texture will be in the description below for you to download so then i'm gonna open up the texture like that press Control c go back add a new layer above the orange uh, background press Control v uh, select to keep canvas size you never want to press expand canvas keep canvas like that and then i'm gonna resize it a bit all right i think this is fine deselect it and then uh, i'm gonna change it i'm gonna uh, change the color of the texture so that it's orange so that and it matches the theme of the profile picture press Control shift u sorry but i can't speak today and then change the hue to like orange or a red i go with uh negative 164 press ok and then go to layers properties and change the blending mode to color dodge or overlay or multiply uh no don't do multiply because you can barely barely see the background i'm gonna go with overlay no no color dodge yeah press ok and then after that you want to add in this border so then add a new layer above everything go to effects render and then border uh, make sure the thickness is 27 that's what I'm doing and then just press ok like that uh, I'm gonna make the border white so then go to my paint bucket tool and then make the primary color white like that and then just left click on the border and then it should turn white and then I'm just gonna go to layer properties and then change the blending mode to overlay or maybe color dodge nope that doesn't work multiply uh, we're just gonna have to go with color dodge or no overlay like that might lower the opacity press ok and then I'm just gonna add a drop shadow to the border like that so it gives it this cool effect like right here like that so make the border color like the drop shadow black bring up the blur radius a bit maybe the widening radius has to go up try white but I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna stick with black press ok and then after that add another new layer and then drag this one below the border go to your paintbrush tool uh, make the hardness 0%, make the fill solid color, and then make the brush width like somewhere around 600, and then make sure your primary color is white like that, and then just go to the top, and then just do that, and then gives it this cool light. Make sure the circle's like uh, barely in the profile picture like that, and then I'm going to center the light, so I'm just going to go to effects, object line, and then center horizontally like that, and then we should be done. So if you want to save it, just go to File, Save As, and then go to your pictures or something. That's where I'm going. And then I'm going to name it whatever I... I'm going to name it. Uh, no, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to save it as a .png or a .jpeg. But I'm just going to save it as a PNG. Uh, I'm going to call it Fortnite Picture. And then Save. Uh, press OK. And then uh, select Flatten. So then it becomes one layer. And then we're done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time and peace out.